this is a new story here. He wasn't even a year old. Little K.J. Muldoon made history as the first person to ever receive a specialized gene therapy for his rare disease. Now he's getting ready for his first Christmas at home, and here's ABC's Andrea Fujii. This morning, the little boy we've been following for months, who received the first-of-its-kind gene therapy for a potentially fatal disease, is marking major developmental milestones, set to spend his first Christmas at home. Now 16 months old, K.J. Muldoon recently took his first steps. It's all been a miracle. That's the only way to describe it. Days after he was born, KJ was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder, which causes ammonia to build up in the blood and can lead to brain injury. Earlier this year, he became the first patient in the world to receive a personalized gene editing therapy called CRISPR. Unfortunately, about 50 percent of babies pass away from this disease in the first week of life. The therapy, developed by doctors in Philadelphia, was years in the making, and KJ was successfully treated after three infusions. By the next day, he was up laughing, looking around, playing with his toys like nothing ever happened. KJ. Since being discharged over the summer, KJ celebrated his first birthday and is growing and thriving. They were huge Eagle fans, and um, the day he was born, I ordered a Jalen Hurts jersey and I just didn't know if he was ever going to wear it. Just to see him do these things that we never thought they were possible have been inspiring. Doctors estimate there are more than 7,000 rare diseases affecting 30 million people across the country. They're now working to advance this therapy to help them. Andrea Fujii, ABC News, New York.